Hello, and welcome to another of our holiday craft series here at ACMI. My name is Peggy, and today we're doing all things angels. You may already have little angels that you've collected in your home. I sure did. I didn't know I had this many. But I found this lovely angel, and she's just lovely, and she inspired me to start crafting and making other angels for the season that I would like to share with you and teach you how to make very simple and fun. So here's some little angels made from ceramics and things that people have sent to me. And this beautiful angel was left on the fairy tree along the park in Spy Pond. And that's where I do my displays in the summer and spring. And I just love having her. She's just beautiful. And this angel was sent to me a long time ago by a friend in Colorado. I just love her. She hangs by my bed. And I thought I'd make a miniature one. And I'll show you later how to make this kind of angel for yourself. That'd be fun. Here she is, right here. We'll leave her here from now, but I'll give you a little taste of what we'll do in a bit. She's very sweet. You can make lots of these. You can hang them all over your trees and put them in the windows, put them on a window shade. Just fun to have little angels everywhere. And these angels that I have give you an idea of how you can combine little angels and natural materials. This wonderful piece of bark came from New Hampshire. It's my favorite kind because it has all these different little layers and striations. And here's a little angel you can just put onto something and then add a few twigs and make a very cute little display. And I also have on my table at home these little lights, these little tea lights. It's just cute to have one in front of it. I wouldn't put any real candle there because maybe it would burn up the wood. But doesn't that make a cute display? And someone gave me this piece long ago. I didn't know what to do with it, but I thought, well, this year I'm going to make a little angel and I'm going to sit her on it. So here I'm starting to give you ideas, in case you do already have angels, what to do with them. Put them with other things. And then you have a new offering. Isn't that cute? And then I put some little twigs and things around that at my table. It makes a lovely centerpiece. This little angel is one that we will make in a bit. And I love this kind of crafted paper. And we made cards with that in the last workshop. But this is the most beautiful paper. And you can buy it at playtime in sheets. And I will teach you how to make one of these little angels. And she goes right on top of this little tea light. This is just a little tile from Home Depot or a hardware store. And it makes for a lovely little table design with an angel on it. Now you may be wondering what this is doing here. This last year I got into doing macrame. I used to do a lot of it and I had this wonderful piece of wood. Oh, it looks like a dinosaur head or a medieval character. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to hang this on this. So be thinking if you make these little angels where you might hang them or put them that would call attention to them in a new original way. And I just think this will look so nice hanging somewhere. So let's take a peek over here and look at some things that we're going to be making. I love working with natural materials. I live on Spy Pond right near the bike path. And on days when it's dry, I go and I collect all kinds of wood, pieces of wood and sticks. And we're going to be making little, show you how to make little stick angels. This is complete. And they have a little piece on the top, the hat they can hang somewhere on your tree, in your window, or somewhere, or on your front door, just to welcome people. All right, so now we're going to go into the crafting part of our program here. Oh, yes, I wanted to show you these. I had fun just pounding out metal. This is just a little wire angel, very sweet. She just dances if she were hung on a shade or on a tree with her little partner. These are easy to make. 
and you need pliers and wire and a hammer and a little anvil. I didn't think that I would make these here today, but I would give you an idea if you're crafty with wire. Okay, well those are the angels that I brought here to inspire you. So now let's go into the crafting part of our program. All right. All right, let's take this little angel. And I don't think you can really tell, but with the tea light, when she's on the table at supper time, she lights up and it is just so sweet. She may look like she's made uh, with a lot of complex materials, but not really. I will show you how to start. First, let's start with the base. This is just a tile from Home Depot. I sprayed it gold, so I just want to put a few little sprigs of greenery at the base. So I'll do that. Get my little glue gun. If you don't have glue gun at home, you can always use an industrial type of glue from Ace Hardwell. I would get um, E6000, I think it's called, and that will stick anything. So let's start out by doing that. Now what you need to do is get a bowl or something that's round and trace around and make a circle. You could start out by doing this with paper that you have at home if you don't have this beautiful paper from Playton. So watch this. I'm just going to take this. See what I did? I just put that right behind there and I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to glue. And guess what? I'm out of glue, but I want to show you something. I made this little poofy thing, and here are my glue sticks. And I made this for artists who would like to just have things right next to their fingertips. So there we go. Now we've got some glue. Okay. And I'm going to squunch this down just a little bit. And usually what you would do would be to make a little ball and stick a stick right up through here. Today I just don't happen to have that little stick on here, but I did make this little teeny baby face. All your little angels don't have to be made that way. They can just be made with a round ball. Like this angel just has a round ball and it has the gold spray on the glue. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to take my glue gun and I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this right on top here. So for now she'll stay. All right, that's her little head. And I'd like to, her to have a little hair. This is really fun stuff. It's called moss and then dried moss. You can buy this on Amazon. I use it for a lot of my characters like this little gal, she would just look bald unless she had this hair. And it just goes with the naturalness of who she is, with a little acorn hat and the little wings, just really cute. I like things to be coordinated. So I'll just put a little bit of glue from my glue gun on here, and I will put this up over her head, make sure her little halo is still showing. And there she is. So I did make on my other little angel a little, two little pieces of clay put together as hands. So now I'm just going to put a little glue. My glue stick fell off here. Oh, I forgot her wings. I forgot to show you this. Of course she needs her wings. You just cut out a shape, kind of looks like a teardrop, like this. Put it on the paper and then cut two of these. Very easy to glue to the back of the little angel. Oh gosh, that doesn't want to stay in there. Anyway, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put on the angel wings as if they were glued on. I'll just hold them like this. And there you have it. That's the start of a cute little paper angel. And you could put little pink cheeks on her, 
remember if you're making it with a ball just put a ball there and then put it on here put the little light underneath and there you have a little glowing paper angel is that not cute all right let's move on to the second angel that you can easily make all right you remember this little angel and her big sister we can easily make this little one just by taking a look here at the pieces that were used a little skirt two wings and the head so let's get started I'm going to use darker clay so you can see what I'm doing so I'm going to roll a little ball and then from this I'm going to fashion the first wing and I'm not sure that it's going to work right away. You'll know it when you put it on your piece. So I'll put this right here. And then I'll make another one, the second wing. I just pinch this clay. When you get Sculpey clay, I would recommend getting the Sculpey, not the Prem Pro. It's harder to squeeze. It's harder to mold. Um, a lot of people like the Prem Pro for jewelry, hard things that last forever. But I tend to like this. All right, there are two wings that look more or less like one another. And then once you get it on to the base piece, it will look like it should. So I've already stretched this out. This is going to be her dress. It's going to go from this to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like little folds in the back. And I'm going to press it. You could put a little knitting needle or something up over that to make these little rolls and folds but I'm just going to rely on my fingers to know that I can pinch it too okay this is working and this nice clay you can just pinch it and it'll do whatever you want it's just wonderful okay I have to flip this over here and get another little fold going. I don't mind the irregularities. Makes it even more interesting. Okay. So this looks a little bit like it would be a dress for the angel. I think I'll put another little fold there. And I think I'm going to take a little bit up off the top. Did you see I just did that with my fingers? I didn't need to cut it or do anything. That's how nice this clay is. All right. Now, here is the little head for the angel at the top of the body. So I'm just going to put that right on. And from the back, I'm going to put the clay that goes up over her head so that will stay. All right. So there, she's this far along. I'm going to fashion her skirt a little bit just by pinching it, making it go out. Often you get fingernail imprints and you just can easily scrape them out like this. Okay, so before I put on the wings, I've got to do her hair. And this is fun. I found a wonderful way to make hair with clay and a nail. So here goes. Make a shape like this. And then I'm going to put it over the top of her hair, head, and just bring it down like this. Looks kind of funny at first, but then I'll bring this around. And looks like she has on a hood, but let's turn this into hair. I'm going to take my nail, I'm going to start pulling 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 and she will have lovely hair in a few minutes you'll see and I can just let it go in any way I can pinch it and it can kind of look natural this way I'll hold it up for you like this you just kind of scrape all along down the back out at the side. No one's probably going to look at the back of it, doesn't matter. But you just keep going like this. And 
I like to make a little spiky here at the top. So look, you just take your nail and you pull up the clay like this. Your little spikes. Let's see if we really like that hair. The more abstract, the better. Okay, now let's see. I think she needs a little bit more hair on this side. So we we'll to go like this. I like her to look like she's been flying around in the woods. Just not a, a sweet, pristine angel, but just sort of an earthy angel. All right, here she is this far. So let's put the wings on the back. Here they come. Here's the first one. And you can kind of wiggle your wings. There's one. And here's another on the other side of her. And this is just a little bit wide, so I'm just going to tweak off a little bit. See how nice this clay is? If you take something off it, you can just put something back on and make it look the way you like. All right. So here is my little angel. And then I'm going to make her have a little pair of hands. Like this, a little prayer position. You could put a little cup there. You could make a little miniature candle. Just making these little teeny pieces to put right on here, like this. Looks like she's praying. Very sweet. Now, because I'd like to hang her up, I made this little piece of metal. And you could figure out a way to make a little hook in a way that would fit for you. But I would just put that down right there in the back of her head so that I could hang her up. Now, I don't want her to look all bent over. And then I might do this just because it might be fun to put a little, a little collar on the front. Or we could put flowers on her or something. I don't know. She looks a little like she needs something at the neck. I'm going to put a little something there that looks like she was wearing a collar. It looks a little nicer. And then I'm going to do a little more dragging of the hair. So there we have the little angel. She's gold. This dark gold clay. Now what you might like to do with her, I'll get my fingers out of the way so you can see her. What you might like to do is get some of this wonderful, it's called Pearlex pigment. Now if you didn't want to keep her this color, you could spray her gold or watch. With this pigment, I'm going to put it on the clay and it's going to look like it's pearl. I think what I'm going to do is leave her with her gold outfit and then I'm going to make the pearly wings. This actually looks like pearl. It's amazing. Put this on here. If you get it in the wrong place, you can just scrub it off easily. I'm not going to do the whole thing right now, but I just want to show you and introduce you to this material. I'm going to put a little on her hair. She needs a little bit of something there. And that looks kind of nice. Gives her, her head a little bit more definition. And maybe on her hands, just a teeny bit. So there she is. Let's see how you can see her. Little clay angel. Easy, easy, easy. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, before I go to the next angel, I want to show you that with this Culpi clay and 
in order to keep it hard forever, you put it in an oven and you bake it at 250 degrees. And it's good to do several little pieces at once so you don't waste a lot of electricity, but that's what you need to do. I had forgotten to tell you. And she will be as hard as this one. See, that's what you want. Something that's stable and hard and will keep forever. So now I'm gonna just do a little quickie demo on an angel I saw in a friend's house that I just loved. Is that not sweet? It's made out of old pieces of music. And I have lots of music books in my house. My grandmother with a concert pianist, I kind of hated ripping up the pieces, but it's better that they be used somehow. So I'm going to show you just quickly how to make a little piece, um, an angel out of pieces of music. The way I started was I made a round ball and I put it on a stick. Okay, there's a stick running right through here. Then I cut a piece of music and I folded it back and forth like an accordion. Then I took a paper punch and I put a hole right at the top. Then I slid this stick right down through the middle and then I glued it at the back. We're halfway there. Then what you have is a stick hanging down by itself and you take two other pieces of music and you glue, you put glue right down here and you glue it to the middle stick and make sure that it is like this. And then you glue the other side the same way to the other edge of the stick. And then you have your angel. So simple. I thought it would be cute to put a couple little branches of greenery at the top. You might have this. You might like other things to decorate it with. But that's an easy little music stick angel. And you could make lots of these for all your friends that are musicians or your children that are playing music. Just very sweet and old fashioned. All right, moving on to the fourth angel. All right, this will be the last angel we make. Isn't this sweet out of a little pine cone? And you could put this anywhere you want. You could glue it on something, on a stick or whatever, but I just wanted to show you quickly how to make a pine cone angel. So simple. You could start with one of those little balls that you roll and put it on the top of the little skirt, or you could make a little face however you want. So here's my little baby face angel. And I'm going to get a little bit of glue going here. My glue stick. I'm going to put her on there and hold this for a couple minutes. There she is. And then let's look at what really makes her an angel. Well, she has to have little wings. So simple to make. You need to get yourself some nice ribbon. Got this at playtime. What I did was I made it go like this. I won't cut it again because I have another one to show you. And then you just pinch it. You cut this side and you end up with this. I put another little piece of ribbon inside to make it interesting. So what I would do would be to attach this to the back, which I'll do very easily with a glue stick. I might keep these little strings to hang her up with. And she could be a little bald angel. Or we could take some of this nice moss and get it going first with a little sticky bit of glue on it.
I like to make my things look like they've been in the wild for a while, so she looks like she has a little bird's nest on her head. Looks kind of cute. <laughs> I think I better put a little bit more down at the side. She doesn't look too wild. You can fashion it any way you want and have fun with that. And might like to put a little flower at the top. A little bit of status. I use status everywhere. The best thing is go to Trader Joe's, get a bouquet of flowers with status in it, and then you always have some on hand for decorating. Is that not cute and easy? And I left the string at the back and can hang her or put her anywhere you want. So there you have four angel ideas for the season. And even a fifth if you want to make yourself a little pouch. I did this with crocheting. And let's see if I can get it straight. Yeah, and I just put some little roving wool on it and made an angel pouch. So we all wish you at ACMI very happy holiday crafting season. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>